Good morning, church. Merry Christmas. Uh, we just thought we'd put this, this clip in before the service begins because we recorded this before uh, we went into tier four. Uh, so we expected to be able to, to celebrate today with our family. So some of, that, some of the messaging isn't quite what we expected it would have been when we first recorded this. But we still hope that you'll enjoy the service. Merry Christmas and look forward to seeing you soon. Happy Christmas. It's so good to be with you in your homes. It's odd not being in the building this morning together, but we still believe we can be present with each other, although in homes online. It's been an odd, odd year. It's been an odd Christmas year. You'll be in your bubbles this morning, but we really hope that this service will bring some light to this day, bring some joy to this special Christmas day. Over the last Sundays, we've been lighting a candle each Sunday, marking down, counting down to Christmas Day. And so today, I get to light all of the five candles. And so, maybe you have an Advent at home and you'll want to do this Advent wreath now, and you'll want to do it with me as well. Before we listen to a a song, let's pray. Heavenly Father, the God who comes to us in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we celebrate this day that light has come to our world, would you be with us, move us, and draw us closer to yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're now going to hear a wonderful Christmas song sung for us. Amazing to 
from 57 West, in those days a decree came out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and it was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, watching over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. See Mary, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay For Jesus Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day To save us all from Satan's power we were gone astray Oh, tidings of comfort and joy comfort and joy oh tidings of comfort and joy
tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place, and with true love and brotherhood each other. Happy Christmas. For the rest of our lives, 2020 will stand out as an exceptional year. The world will never be the same because of this, this past year. And of course, that's true of every year. But it is without exaggeration that 2020 has been an unprecedented year, where the word unprecedented has been used an unprecedented amount of times. It's been a year of lockdown, a year of isolation, a year marked out by death and disease. At Christmas, we, we celebrate during this darkest time of the year that light has come into our world. In the midst of this dark world, a light shines. The celebration of Christmas is, is, is like an act of rebellion against the dark, where we remind ourselves every year that the darkness will not win. That isn't to minimize the pain and the suffering that we experience. We should not underestimate the darkness of this world. And nor should we forget how quickly life can change. This time last year, none of us would have expected what this year held. Many of us this year have turned to be homeschool teachers. And some of our homeschool sessions involved a glass of wine or something stronger, even at 9.30 in the morning. We've learned about things like our numbers and the proper length to wash one's hands and that football without fans is nothing. We've learned words like furlough and Zoom and WFH. I had never heard of Barnard Castle, but now it is forever linked with spec savers. And there have been many events this year beyond COVID that have shown the darkness of this world. The terrible Australian bushfires, the, the death of George Floyd, that terrible explosion in Beirut, just to name a few. It's been odd, but, but while at the same time we've been isolated, in our isolation we have had shared experiences. Not only sharing the experience of, of isolation and, and lockdown, but those moving moments of clapping for our, our NHS. A seemingly insignificant act like clapping has brought many to both joy and tears. 2,000 years ago, a seemingly insignificant event happened. A baby was born in a little town called Bethlehem. But the effects of that year will have much longer effects than the year 2020 had. It was announced on that one day 2,000 years ago that a light has come into this dark world. It is into the midst of this world that the Christ child was born, not the world that we see on our Christmas cards of still beauty, but this world full of darkness and pain that we've experienced this year. God enters into this world, this world of flesh and blood, of sorrow and pain, and God has come to wipe away every tear from our eye. God has sent hope into this world, and God has sent hope 
into our hearts. And we celebrate that today on Christmas Day. Today, this Christmas Day, we celebrate that the darkness has not won. There was that great Christmas Eve song that says, Yet in thy dark street shineth an everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all this year are met in thee tonight. Today as we celebrate Christmas, let us celebrate because the everlasting light has come into this world to bring hope and joy. So today, enjoy your family, those who who are in your bubble. And enjoy your Zooms and your FaceTime chats Enjoy your meals and unwrapping presents. Enjoy today because the darkness will not win. Rejoice in hope for the Christ child was born. Emmanuel, God with us. Go in the peace that Jesus Christ is with us. He is God with us. Go in peace in the risen Christ. Merry Christmas, or as you say, Happy Christmas. to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. We will sing joy. everyone. Thanks so much for that, that song. I uh, thought it'd be a good time now to pray. Will you pray with me? Worldly God, your word in season enters our neighborhood and brings grace and truth. 
Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to all people. Beckoning God, your child in a manger invites us to lean close and bow down. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to all people. Unbounded God, your angel brings good news and great joy to all those on the margin. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to all people. Intimate God, your power seeds hope for the lowly and judgment for the proud. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to all people. Savior God, your spirit gifts one like us, one of us, one with us, to save us from ourselves. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to all people. Amen. And then we're going to have another song sung for us. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you, you enjoyed last night's Chris Stingle service and this morning's Christmas Day's service. 
Uh, I hope this Christmas time is a real special time for you and for your family and your loved ones. May, may God's peace be with you and enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your presence and enjoy your family. Go in the peace of Christ.